Well, we're on the outskirts of Coventry. I've said all there is to be said about this. So I'm saying nothing about this at all. I'll just leave it to you to have a look at. But I hope you're all staying safe and well. We are about to go, you and me that is, onto the Greenway. Uh, it's called the Kenilworth Greenway, but we're near a Burton Green at the moment. You can see everything you need to see there. I think they're changing where this path is going. It comes down here now. We're going to go across that big embankment across there and then down the other side is, is what I'm thinking they're planning. They've changed these routes that many times. It's quite unbelievable. I never can quite understand why people buy those houses. They're basically mobile homes, they've got everything in them. The price of them is enormous. You could buy a house with the price you pay for one of those. And the difference with the price for a house is it goes up and up. And the value of those mobile homes or whatever, the, the, I don't know what they're called, but something like a mobile home, um, goes down and down. I've, I've never quite worked out what the what the idea is. They look very nice. We went and had a look in one. They look very nice, but boy, where do you put your rubbish in a hutch like that? I can't imagine. We've got a loft full of it. At least we can get in our garage, but if we've got a loft full of junk. And uh, yeah, you can see where the path is coming down here. Look, along here. Oh. It's an interesting view. Now we're going up onto what was the Greenway. It's now a brown mess way. Oh, I said I wasn't going to say anything. There you go, I'll just let you judge. That's what's there now. That's what's there now. And this is what it used to be like. There we are, you've got your contrast, haven't you? Yeah, that's where the road's coming. Across here. Yeah, I still walk this way sometimes, along there. But that's not what I'm doing today. That's a lovely contrast, isn't it? You can have that, or you can have the destruction. Well, we're going out across the fields, another wibbly wobbly way. No access to pedestrians, when, since when? But the gate's open, and it is still open. I presume that's when they're moving the route, because they, they seem to do that at regular intervals. I'm sorry about all this fencing, we, we'll dodge that shortly. At least it stopped raining. I was getting rained on just now. That's the bridge we were up on just now. Over there in the distance and in the foreground was a lovely ancient woodland, which of course now is just brown soil. There we go. It's turning out okay now. That's where we're heading over there across the fields. As I say, I hope you're staying well. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, you must get fed up with me saying this. But nevertheless, it would make the Rambling Rambler, Dave to his friends, very happy if you would subscribe. So... Thank you very much. If you have already, please like and share and ring the bell. Now I don't have to say it later, can you? Can I? Will I? Will I? Shall I? Ah. The sun was really warm earlier on, and then we, then I got rained on. 
and uh, now it's picking up again. I we're walking on all these wood chips and uh, yes we've got to go right out across those fields there and that's going to make for a better video than what we've got here I'm longing I hear that it won't be ever so long before the lockdown is lifted to some extent at least we will be able to do a bit of traveling perhaps look around the Cotswolds or go to some other places Perhaps go and have a few nights at Cheltenham. Um, maybe not in a hotel, but maybe with a caravan. Might be possible. And you will get some videos of other places. What a relief. I do apologise for the fact that you have many similar videos uh, over and over. But I can't really think of a way around it. Well, I'm thinking particularly today of all our friends in Myanmar. I was looking at news this morning and it was saying how that the next few days are crucial the military in uh, Burma have got a habit of shooting civilians so I'm hoping that won't happen this time and I'm hoping those people can find their way back to normality um, who they choose as the leader should be up to them not up to the military regardless of what I might think of her the choice should be theirs not the military's so here we are now this is a very muddy track so yeah a very muddy track Ah, yeah, the track used to come across here, but this is better, isn't it, to look at than, than looking at those fences. So, my wife's knee was not being good, so it's been told to stay at home. She's told it to stay at home today. I think she wouldn't have minded coming out. But I think she thought she'd give her knee a rest today. It was not happy yesterday. We only did about 9.1 kilometres yesterday. I don't know what we're up to today. It probably will be similar. But um, it's just nice being out in the countryside and uh, enjoying it. At the moment I'm busy putting together a poem which is to do with woodland and uh, given how good woodland is for our mental health mind you I don't know if it could do anything for me but there we are whoops um, yes it's um, I should put some more poems up on my poetry channel really don't know if you've ever looked at it but it seems a bit a bit dry because what I do is whoops there's the mud just read the poems to camera and I have an idea that's a bit um, well can be a little boring can you hear the squelch can you hear it Squelch, squelch. Now I'm going to go over here because I'm going to look at the gorse. Because I think the gorse. Yep, there's the gorse. Up there, look. That's nice. That is nice. And as we can look across the countryside... can't see if there's any more gorse on this there's some on the top well that's the sort of woodland that was chopped down so I'll say bye for now thank you for watching everybody and I hope to see you again soon so bye from the rambling rambler on the outskirts of Coventry UK